Hi, welcome back. This is Sean Chua from SimpleCamConcepts.com. Now, in the previous videos, we have talked about the reactivity series of metals. We have also looked into the applications of the reactivity series, such as the metal displacement reactions, as well as the reduction of metal oxides with hydrogen gas and carbon as reducing agents. Now, today we're going to continue on the application of the reactivity series of metals by looking at the thermal decomposition of metal carbonates. All right, so without further ado, let's take a look at the key concepts on the board. All right? Now, basically for the key concept over here is that the more reactive the metal is in the reactivity series, the more stable will be the metal carbonate. All right? Just like the metal oxides we have talked about previously. And it's therefore more difficult to decompose the metal carbonate. And we normally say that this carbonate that is more difficult to decompose is thermally more stable, right? So this is a, a very basic uh, concept of uh, this section of the reactivity series in terms of application. Let's take a look at the list of the carbonates. So this is a potassium carbonate all the way to silver carbonate. Once again, uh, we normally will not include gold carbonate here because gold is a very, very unreactive metal. It doesn't tend to combine with other elements to form a compound. So they tend to exist on its own. And because of that, uh, we normally stop, stop at silver carbonate in terms of the discussion, all right? As well as the exam-based question. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look very quickly. Now, I need you to remember that uh, for the first two so-called metal carbonate, uh, they are your group one uh, alkali metals, all right? Or rather, this carbonate consists of your group 1 alkali metals with potassium and sodium. These are highly reactive metals which also means that these carbonate are very very stable, right? So let me write a word here. Potassium carbonate will thus be the most stable metal carbonate and then your silver carbonate will therefore be the least stable, right? So you follow down the list most stable, least stable. So the stability, the thermal stability of the carbonate actually decreases, all right, down this list or down this table. So for the first two, the group one metal carbonate, what happened is, what is the observation upon heating them in a test tube or a boiling tube, all right? Um, these two carbonate, they are unaffected by heat. So there is no reaction, so unaffected by heat, all right? Nothing happened if you heat them. But from calcium carbonate all the way to copper to carbonate, they will decompose, all right? So they will decompose thermally, all right? Decompose thermally to produce or to give, all right? Your metal oxide. And you will see carbon dioxide as the other product, all right? So let me give you an example as usual, all right? Is, uh, let's choose one, say, I always choose the one that you always see in the exam, all right? Because I want to help you. So if you take a look, copper to carbonate, all right? All else, calcium carbonate. By the way, calcium carbonate is also known as your limestone. So in the exam, I always see that they love to test your calcium carbonate, copper to carbonate, all right? These two. Let's choose limestone, calcium carbonate, for example. So calcium carbonate, if you thermally uh, heat it, means you heat it, all right? Uh, it will thermally decompose to give you your calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. You should have done this uh, so-called experiment uh, in your chemistry laboratory in the school before, whereby you test the carbon dioxide with lime water, all right? So let me write a note here. You can test this, all right? Test with lime water. This is also known as the lime water test because that will give you a white precipitate. All right, carbon dioxide you react with your lime water, which is calcium hydroxide solution, to give you a white precipitate, which is your calcium carbonate. All right, so you get a calcium carbonate back uh, here. Okay, if you use, uh, if you start with calcium carbonate. Else, if you use the rest of the carbonates over here, uh, it will show you the same thing. You will get your metal oxide and carbon dioxide, and if you test your carbon dioxide with lime water, you will get and you will see white precipitate or calcium carbonate. All right, your white solid, white 
precipitate. Now, what about silver carbonate? Why do I leave them, uh, put them together? Why I break them apart? Uh, it's because uh, your silver carbonate is very, very unstable. So what happened is, if it's, it's still unstable, that you decompose, all right? You decompose to give your metal rather than the metal oxide directly, okay? So decompose to give the metal as well as you will see in a while they will give you carbon dioxide uh, and your oxygen gas right so again let me give you an equation to represent this so this is silver carbonate let's see what happened all right when you heat it all right initially you will form and you'll break apart thermally to give you your silver oxide and your carbon dioxide. Okay, this is what you get. And uh, I think this is balance. Then what happened if you still remember from the previous video on the reduction of uh, metal oxide with carbon and hydrogen gas, um, you remember that silver oxide itself is very unstable and by heating itself silver oxide will also decompose in case you miss out on that video please go and watch it all right so that you truly understand the concept behind this all right so the silver oxide that is produced will then further decompose all right further decompose thermally you need the heat and it's always you always have the heat because you have the bunsen burner that's heating it all right for example you'll get you your metal and your oxygen gas and I need to balance this to make it uh, make sure this uh, it looks good okay in terms of chemistry exams all right so this is what you have so if you take a look what happened silver carbonate you heat it you'll get your barrette silver oxide however the silver oxide will thermally decompose in the second step because it's still heat to form your silver metal so I'll take here you get your silver metal and in the process you will get carbon dioxide and oxygen gas all right uh, this is about the thermal decomposition of uh, metal carbonates and an experiment like this you'll be highly um, tested in your planning question uh, in your school chemistry practicals um, as well as your written paper or even multiple choice questions because simply we can ask you um, based on an example like this okay let me share with you okay so um, we could ask you to set up a boiling tube okay ask you to set up a boiling tube and then you have a delivery tube here yeah that is let's say it's a bit all right and this is a test tube oops, of uh, lime water all right, so this is your lime water, which is again calcium hydroxide solution. Okay, so I need to make sure there is a rubber stopper here to make to prevent the gas from escaping. So what really happened is here. All right, we will have a Bunsen burner here. Okay, and then you put your metal covering. So this is your metal covering. So the metal covering will or will not decompose and if it decompose it will produce carbon dioxide gas and the carbon dioxide gas will then go inside the lime water and react and will produce your white PPT of calcium carbonate and using this experiment you can basically have two metal carbonates and then um, you will be asked to thermally decompose it and find out based on what? based on the time that's a time all right whereby you will see the first instant of white precipitate that also means all right uh, for a metal carbonate whereby is the is very very um, so-called fast for you to see the white PPT uh, it means basically the metal carbonate is very very unstable so it's thermally um, it can easily be thermally decomposed to form metal oxide and carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide will thus go into the lime water react with it to give you the white precipitate calcium carbonate all right versus another one whereby it take very long or probably you will not see white PPT white precipitate it means that 
the metal carbonate is very very stable probably is the first two over here or any other group one metal carbonates right because why they're thermally stable and then they are not affected by heat they don't decompose at all so if they don't decompose there's no carbon dioxide so there's no reaction line water there's no white ppt right so this is once again an application of the reactivity series of metals uh, I hope you enjoy yourself and uh, do subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below to receive more awesome chemistry videos. Alright, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next video. Take care and good luck.